Hi, welcome to the video about Bash RC. And we are going to change the wallpapers just like that with an old N. You can have all these beautiful wallpapers and I never go look for them, guys. It's Variety, it's desktopper.co, they work together, it's lovely. The video is going to be the long video. There's another one where you just update your thing and that's it. This is going to be a more technical guy. Um, it means that when you using Arch Linux, there are some basic stuff you need to know and there are lots of videos about it on there and every opportunity I get I'll make uh, a reference to it but there's a little thing down here that's all red and there is one little thing that's coming in from us Arch Linux root git okay so we can upgrade this thing but let's do everything in the terminal because I want you to read some things first off technical which means control T type in alias you should know all these aliases well the most important one anyway what's important for this video backup scale is important CB is important then you go for updates you're right update is important then PKSYUA is update your complete system update is just Arch Linux Arch Linux and PKSYOA is Arch Linux, Arch Linux and AOR. So normally I do in the videos first an update, then a PKSYOA. That's how I organize it, structure it educationally. Um, so if we were gonna get technical, it's all about this particular folder called ETC Scale. When you put something in the ETC Scale, and you're building an ISO, then the user will get the content of that particular file. But if you're staying rolling, then we will install an ETC scale, always. And it's up to you, the user, to say, I wanna get the new stuff in. So you can keep on rolling, that's the point of Arch Linux, Arch Linux, that's the point. Just install once and just keep on updating, right? But of course, uh, Linux is a little bit um, an exercise for many of us, and then you reinstall when you screw things up. That's okay. You learn. So, how can you learn as well? That's by using this little command that says backup scale. It's gonna copy paste everything from etc scale to your home directory, hidden. That means this dot means hidden. Scale backup is the name with a date, year, month day, hour, month, seconds. So let's do that first. You go up here, super shift return, opens up this, control H shows the hidden files. It's all in the keyboard shortcuts, it's super fast. And we are gonna put him here. When we do a backup scale, it provides us with the backup of ETC scale. So let's have a look etc scale anything that goes in here is actually going on the ISO you have to do it twice in Tunar and then it sticks so this content control H some arrive here and they say Eric there is no content sure there is edits or view show hidden files control H it's all dots in front it's all hidden okay so this content we used to do control A, control C, and go over here and control V it. But that was taking too long. It's just not efficient. So that's why aliases are there. Then you make a scale, a command that says, let's copy paste it over, basically. So this guy, very small command, but anyway, you have to type it. Now we just have to type scale. Now, before we do an update and all that, I just did a backup scale. So the content of the current ETC scale is in here, okay? And what's interesting is, if you do this prior to an update, then you can compare. So let's do our update already. So when you update, it's Arch Linux, Arch Linux, okay? It's going in, you say yes, I say yes. We always give you a line, a hint, the files have been installed in ETC scale, meaning you can leave it like that and just do a monthly checkup, okay? What's new? 
check up monthly and you need to see the scale what changed. Fine. Because you need to know when you do a scale, you're going to overwrite your files. That's why it's interesting to make copies, for instance, of this config. If you say machine is the way I like it, control C, control V, you have already a backup of your current settings, right? And with this super tool called Melt, you can compare what's different when you copy paste it over again. Scale means copy paste, overwriting stuff, but you have a backup, right? And you can compare and see what's changed, what's different. We can do that as well in the video. So this is the longer video. The other video is just say update, scale and CB. We still have to learn that one. The files have been installed in each syscal. Fine, let's do a backup scale again, immediately. The new stuff is in, I'm gonna make a backup scale and it's gonna be another date, well, not, not another date, but another minute, yes, and so on, right? We compare these two guys and now we have full knowledge of what's gonna change on your system. You open it up, this is Melt, guys. This is the tool to work with. If I hadn't Melt, it wouldn't be developed this fast. This is a super tool. You don't want to see the same. You do want to see the difference. What's new? What's modified? Just one thing. That's it. The package delivers one change. And then you go inside and you see that the Bash RC latest is changed. We got a new typo that I've made, all right? Up paid and you paid, it all meant update, but I type so fast my fingers are missing, okay? So that's just a typo fix, that's great. But there's also a new one, up all. Up all is the same thing as PKSYOA. I was looking for something better all these months. And I think up it all, update it all, up it all, up all, okay, is going to be my new word for September to update my system. But it's exactly the same thing. If you want to make a new alias with your own name, you can do so, but put it in bash rc personal. Explained.articlelinks.com. And we have some new stuff, things that were in my bash rc personal that are now moving to the general mainstream bash rc. And SSN, which uh, is pseudo shutdown now, immediately shut down and some elements to edit elements, uh, important ones. Dangerous, but not dangerous if you know what you do, right? So pacman.conf is in here, lightm is in here, crop is in here, etc. So these things are new. Now they're not being used. This is by the way, never used. This is just um, a copy, right? A folder with the content of etc scale at some point in time. But if you do a scale, right, then everything is gonna be copy pasted over. So now you know, before you changed anything, you know it's just gonna be the bash RC that's gonna be updated. So we type a scale. Now, and only now, what happens? A copy paste. The ETC scale, this content, is now in here. The trouble with the Bash RC, and that's why it's important to, to see this video, is that actually this guy, the Bash RC, is never overwritten. Well, it is overwritten, sorry, it is overwritten, but it's overwritten with an old version, not a new version. It's overwritten with a version from the ISO. At some point in time, you downloaded an ISO, burned an ISO, put it on USB, put it in, and installed it and it's that particular bash rc that's in there okay so if you want to have the latest newest stuff in your own to the left is the bash rc this is going to work this linux says it should be called bash rc it shouldn't be called bash rc eric or latest etc right no no it should be called bash rc so you need to actually get this thing to there which is actually easy by just clicking here but that wouldn't be wise there's a better approach Okay, so you have all these things that you don't have access to. Control Alt T. Up all, what's that? Right? You don't have access to. 
If you want to have the Bash RC latest content inside the Bash RC, then we've made a nice tool. And now we are at the word that I said earlier on, alias. And let's make it bigger, CB. Let's analyze what CB does. It's gonna copy paste the content of Bash RC latest inside your Bash RC in your root. This this uh, tilt or this this wave life, uh, wave like um, character actually is your home directory. In my case, home Eric. Okay, Bash RC latest gonna be the content of it of gonna be overwritten really. So copy paste inside. Then this is an important one. It's gonna source it immediately as well. So it's gonna read it again. So all the up all and all things work. And then let's not forget that we still have an old version in etc scale. So when you do a scale, you're always gonna overwrite bash RC again and again and again. So we will also overwrite the bash RC latest. Well, this one, the content of this one, will overwrite the content of that one. So a scale will not affect us next time. So that's why I say there's a better approach than just these green lines. Just CP, enter. He wants to write in the sudo, remember? Sudo etc scale, you need to have a password for that. So I'm giving him my password. At this point in time, my new guys are in alias. The new guys, guys are uh, up all is one, right? Up all, enter, and let's let him update it all. So up all means just update everything. Arch Linux, Arch Linux, AOR, the system. That's why and all, update all, up all. Or PKSYUA, still working. The other thing that we had were things like N Pacman. Often I say to users, beta testers, and well, activate your testing repo. What? Well, and Pacman is a key. That's what I'm gonna say now. Use and Pacman. Enter. It's sudo etc light. Uh, sorry, sudo etc pacman.conf. It's up here. It's the most important file of your system. It's your configuration of your package manager. Well, most important, very important. You just press page down, page down, page down, page down, page down till you are at. Arch Linux repo testing, delete, 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 control X, yes, save me please, enter, done. So you can't go any faster than that. Otherwise, I have to go to the file system, I have to go to etc, I have to type in pacman.conf, double click it, open it up, make sure it's sublime text. If it's not sublime text, you don't get a keyboard and a password that I ask, and here it is. I should delete the hashtags, control S, save it, pop it in. I think this will be fast. And pack, I've been using it for last weeks. Other as well, there are more aliases. He's up to date in the meantime. I could make another typo <laughs> in alias here. So up all is there. There was this pseudo shutdown now, which we're not going to do, maybe for last. <laughs> and Slim, and Pacman, and Oboe Logout, and, and Make Init CPU. This is a technical one. And LightDM. Might be interesting as well to show you that. And LightDM is interesting in the sense that you do page down, page down, page down, page down, page down, page down, page up. User session is interesting. People are on other Linux, right? And you have XFC, Openbox, and i3. Well, next time I want to be booting up with i3. I'm gonna tell myself this week is just i3. You save it again, and next time you reboot your system, LightDM says I'm gonna launch i3. So for all the people who have different desktops, that's the that's the file. They know that that's the file. But now we have a keyboard shortcut, well, an alias really, to just open it up and just quickly say, no, never mind. I'm gonna go for Openbox this week. Oh, 
open box. And everything goes, of course, awesome, mate, um, you have to know the names, plasma, but that's it. Just put it in there and it's just gonna boot with a particular desktop. So that's your extras that you've got and that's all there is to say in, in technicality really. Um, but it's important of course that you know how all of this fits together and works together because otherwise it will work against you and that's not the point of course. It shouldn't be frustrating but you need to know some things, basic things that, that's, uh, that are important on Arc Linux. Alright, that's it for me. Uh, maybe a SSN sudo shutdown now that's the command so we've done this and then you're out all right enjoy your aliases cheers